exposure to mold can cause many health effects, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The agency reports that for some people, mold can cause a stuffy nose, sore throat, coughing or wheezing, burning eyes or skin rash, and people with asthma or who are allergic to mold may have severe reactions. CDC also warns that immunocompromised individuals and people with chronic lung disease could even get infections in their lungs from some types of mold. These are all reasons to not be exposed to elevated levels of it indoors, but mold will grow almost anywhere indoors if there is enough moisture. Elevated humidity levels, condensation, water leaks, and flood damage can all allow for the rapid growth of mold in a home, school, or any type of building. To help prevent indoor mold growth, the CDC provides the following tips. Keep humidity levels in the home low, no higher than 50% all day long. An air conditioner or dehumidifier will help keep the level low. Humidity levels change over the course of the day, so check the humidity levels more than once during the day. Be sure the air in the home flows freely. Use exhaust fans at vent outside the home in the kitchen and bathrooms. Also, make sure the clothes dryer vents outside the home. Fix any leaks in the home's roof, walls, or plumbing so mold does not have moisture to grow. Clean up and dry out the home fully and quickly within 24 to 48 hours after a flood. Add mold inhibitors to paints before painting. Mold inhibitors can be bought at paint and home improvement stores. Clean bathrooms with mold killing products. And remove or replace carpets and upholstery that have been soaked and cannot be dried right away. Think about not using carpet in places like bathrooms or basements that may have a lot of moisture. These are just a few of the many things to know about preventing indoor mold growth. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.